Chest Diagnostic. Hello, everybody, and welcome to the most instructive kingside attack ever. Okay, so this game is a game played between a player as white named Vyacheslav Ragozin versus P. Noskov. Now, I'm not sure, but maybe they're Russian. I don't know. So, this game is a very instructive kingside attack, possibly the most instructive kingside attack ever. White plays with zero mistakes, according to the computer, and it's such a good illustration of how to play a kingside attack. So it starts with e4, c5, knight to f3, e6, and we get a Sicilian defense, French variation. d4, c takes d, knight takes d4, knight to f6, and with knight from b to d2, we're going towards the French variation of the Sicilian defense. So at this point in the opening, white is just developing normally all of his minor pieces and black is creating a sort of hedgehog formation where he's not the most developed, but he's very solid. So after this knight trade, he has, or black has, a very solid center formation, but he's going to have some problems with development of his queenside pieces namely the light squared bishop. So white just resumes normal development with castles. The bishop comes up and white plays b3, preparing to fianchetto this dark square bishop and start a kingside attack. A very simple and effective plan. All right, after black castles, we get bishop to b2 and after knight to d7, f4 preparing to push f5 and use his pawns as battering rams to break apart white or black's kingside position so the first of a couple mistakes by black with bishop to f6 this allows white to start an attack immediately with e5 a better move to play in this position would be knight to c5 because this actually allows black to start developing his queenside pieces as well as playing in the center. The bishop would be forced to go back or if white plays a more aggressive queen to g4, black can actually play f6 and he's okay. He's threatening to play e4 with a tempo against the queen as well as cutting off this dark square bishop diagonal so what's the problem with bishop to f4 well the main problem is that white can play e5 and after d takes e he brings in another minor piece to the king side and he's going to be owning this entire dark square diagonal, which is a very dangerous diagonal during a kingside attack. So black makes another mistake instead of focusing on his activity by playing bishop to b7 and then hoping to play c5 eventually. He takes the pawn on f4, a huge mistake because now after knight takes bishop, Knight takes, knight takes knight, and then rook takes f4. White has become dangerously active. Now the computer suggests a somewhat ridiculously looking move, but also a move that makes perfect sense, e5. Now this is just desperately trying to close off the dark square bishop, which even though he can take, the queen can play queen to e7, and Black will survive because after the bishop takes, the queen will come here, the rook is forced to pin itself, and then we get a weakened black kingside, but we're able to develop our bishop and we'll survive. So instead of that, after, after rook takes f4, we get 
rook to e8, and then a sacrifice, rook to f6. This is a very schematic kingside sacrifice, especially when you have the bishop pair and your opponent is undeveloped. These pieces on the queen side of black are essentially worthless. Even at this point, the computer is recommending that black play queen to d5, just simply giving up a piece. Of course, a human wouldn't really do that. They'd try to hang on to their material. So black plays g takes f6. And now after this weakened king side, white can pretty much do whatever he wants. But of course, he plays the logical move, queen to g4. And if the black king moves over, for example, king to h8, then black has a force checkmate with queen to e4, and the only move to stop this checkmate is queen takes the bishop. And even then, he's going to have a lot of trouble after bishop takes f6. So if the king tries to escape, we get a force checkmate with the bishop coming here, closing off the dark square. And pretty much all black's pieces have to give away themselves before checkmate. So after queen to g4, the king goes to f8, trying to escape, but it's still the same variation, bishop to a3. Now, the uh, black should have given away his queen, but that's hopeless. So he tries to just give away an exchange and hopefully not be mated, but after bishop takes h7, queen to b6, king to h1, the king tries to escape via e8, but with rook to d1, it's all over. So black resigned in this position because he's going to be mated on g8. And just notice these completely inactive passive pieces are the reason that black lost. So what do you think? Do you think this is the most instructive kingside attack ever? If you enjoyed this video, like the video, leave a comment if you have any questions, and subscribe for future updates. I'll see you in the future.